Overall, students would have been very pleased with this afternoon's Higher Level Maths Paper 1. There were many straightforward questions, both in Section A and in Section B. Um, if one topic could be said to have dominated this year's Paper 1, it is algebra, in pretty much the same way that sequences and series dominated last year and exponential functions dominated the year before. Uh, that's not to say that the other major topics such as calculus, differentiation and integration and complex numbers and sequences and series, to say that they were absent. They weren't absent, they were there, but they didn't dominate like some of them had in other years. The Section A questions for the most part were very well thought out. Some of them had, within the one question, elements from three topics on the course and, and they were linked together in a very clever way. There were a couple of tricky bits, um, but for the most part, these had been well flagged. That included two proof questions. Uh, there was a proof by induction that occurred in question two and the proof by contradiction in question six. The section B questions were very fair. There were a number of relatively straightforward parts that students could have picked up marks at the beginning of each. And whereas, as is usual now with section B questions, they can appear quite strange at first. If you make your way through them step by step, you'll find that they're actually quite doable. And these ones were particularly nice. There was one of them, question nine, the final question, which was the long flagged max and min problem. There hadn't been one of those since 2013. If there was one, it was well flagged. People were, going to, were saying, when was this going to appear again? And here it was. All in all, I think a very, very nice paper for most students. One thing just to say before I finish, and that is that Yet again, like last year, there was no financial maths question. Now, it would be hasty in the extreme to put away your financial maths notes at this stage if you remember what happened last year. Financial maths appeared on paper too, to the shock of many students. So just keep them out for the weekend and best luck on paper too on Monday morning.